Hey guys, it's Warrior Chick and welcome back to Life is Strange. Now, I know this video is so long overdue, so I'm going to try and keep this intro short and sweet, but I just wanted to mention that if you watched my last video, you probably know how many PC issues, laptop issues, all the issues I've been having in the past few months, which has really held me back from being able to make and upload any videos. So. It was a process, had my laptop break, my disk drive failed, got everything replaced. It was a process, everything was going great. I was about to record this video last week and, and you know what happened? My chair broke. Yeah, my, my, my chair, I don't know, I must have been hitting the gym a little too hard, maybe a little winter weight, I don't know, but my chair broke and yeah, I do have an electric desk so uh, realistically I could have recorded a video standing up but yeah no I, I wasn't feeling that so of course had to order a new chair as you can see look at this so ergonomic amazing I sit down I turn on you know this this game we're playing today we're gonna we're gonna start life is strange and my microphone is not on I'm like, what is going on? So now the cable has decided to be selective on when it wants to work. So I had to like position the cable to be like bent in a certain way. So my microphone stays on. So there is a high risk <laughs> at some point throughout this video, I'm not even gonna realize it, but my microphone's probably just gonna turn off and I'm gonna be really, really sad and just scream and cry. 2024 has not been the year for me so far. Everything is breaking. Uh, but you know what? The microphone right now is working. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need a new microphone, new cable. I don't know, but you know what? That is my problem. I will do that in my own time. But for now, hopefully it works. I'm just gonna try not to touch it. So let's just hope that it doesn't fail mid video because I literally know you guys would not believe me if I if I told you this. <laughs> you guys are like, oh my God, what is taking you so I'm not kidding. Literally one thing after the other, everything is breaking. But you know what, I guess on the bright side, all my stuff is upgraded. I mean, not that I wanted to upgrade everything now, but I don't know, one thing at a time. But this microphone is gonna be the next on the list. Anyway. We are going to be starting the final episode today of Life is Strange. It's called Polarized, and... I don't... I don't know what to expect. I'm a little bit ner- I actually kind of get a little bit nervous when I know the end is near for a game. Because I know that pretty much every decision I've made up until this point is probably going to completely shape how the game ends and whether it's good bad I don't really know whatever kind of crazy combination we get of things I don't know it just kind of makes me like get all nervous and rethink everything but, you know we're just gonna try and go with it you know we're just accept our decisions accept our successes our failures or whatever and just go with it the ending of episode four really freaked me out Mr. Jefferson is up to something and I want to find out what that is. I know a lot of people, I keep changing my opinion on back and forth, back and forth. So, I mean, this is, this is the episode that's going to tie it all together. So, oh my goodness, I did not keep this intro short and sweet. That is my bad. But without further ado, let's get started and start the final episode of this game. See, it's these warnings that, that get me all nervous, you know? Choose wisely, they say.
A lot of cameras and... Ugh, I don't know, this is kind of creepy. Okay, yeah, this is really creepy. This is... What is happening? My god, this is so cri- Victoria! Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad! This is so bad. Victoria! Wake up! Wake up! <sighs> Oh god, she is not getting up. Okay, this is up to us to figure out what the hell is going on. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Oh, I can't even see what that is. Uh... If I could move it towards me. The syringe? Okay, or the trolley. Oh, can I just detach this? <sighs> oh, that was easy. Oh, finally, I'm free. <laughs> Almost. Looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Dude, this is so creepy. So creepy! Focus on the photo. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. That is not great. This is... I am so disturbed right now. Like, I actually don't want to know what happens, but... I mean, you don't know. We have to know. We have to know because... We gotta do something about it. We gotta, we gotta get the evidence. We gotta get the story else. We're not gonna be able to do anything. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. What the fuck? Vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ. Look at that perfect face. You are disgusting. Hold that stare there. Stay still. Max, you fucked up my shot. Oh, my bad. Please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. 
Yes. I still hate that word. And I still hate you. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Rachel Amber? Let me try this angle. Did you, did you kill her? Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He You're tried so Nathan? hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Along with Arcadia Bay. What is going on? Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You f You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self-defense. Hey, 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 but she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. I hate you. Though I I promise. People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. The only okay. one that's dying tonight? Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. This guy right here. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. What is going on? Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No, no, no. Now don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. Oh my god! God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take oh. the shot. No way! No fucking way! He mentioned Rachel. I bet you. I'm just saying, as a medical professional, these kind of injections, you know, like sedatives, any kind of anti-agitation, which I'm assuming he's kind of giving. Very, very oh, easy to go Jesus. wrong with. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Like, if he did it to Max, he probably did it to Rachel. Oh. Maybe mistakes were made. <laughs> you know, maybe a wrong dose was given. I can see that happening. Okay, so so what's his plan? Does he actually like think he can just kidnap all of his students, drug them, take pictures of us, and then what he's gonna kill us? Like I just What? Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Oh wait, do we have we have to go into different memories? No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. 
Good. Now I can use them. All right, we're going to focus again on... This might work. <sighs> Please work. see this and I'm sure Max doesn't want to see I just I just can't believe this is actually happening and, and the fact that Nathan and Jefferson are in on on this sub, this thing whatever they're doing together oh my god Just how out of all people, why some you? I'm spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. The fuck are you talking about? You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Oh wow, we're so lucky. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see... Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Uh. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. Oh, she could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Oh my god. Before Kate tried to jump off that roof, she had that conversation with Jefferson and left crying. Oh my god. It is all coming together and I hate this. I hate this. Kate believed and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Oh, that, that's but much better. Image, Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. Well, that explains a lot. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Hip new drugs? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. 
Did he or did you, though? Uh, Chloe and Rachel or why Rachel? Well, I mean, I think we kind of know a lot about Chloe and Rachel's relationships. We don't know a lot about Rachel, like herself. Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. What the Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Yeah. Anyway. I doubt that. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Wow, yes, are you yes, really gonna are. pull that on me? I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Oh, sh no way. Do you finally way. get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart. Oh wow, just, yeah, you're gonna set the mood with some music? My... Sorry, this is not art. <laughs> sorry, not this sorry. Alright, how do I get out of this? Personified. Okay, I have the ability to rewind, but to where? Why? I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay, what am I supposed to do though? Oh wait, what's that? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. See how these shots came out. Wait, please. Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. <laughs> I think our session was a career high for me. I'm a puke. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Eh, maybe not my best angle, but... <laughs> definitely better than anything you've done in your fucking career. Career of a uh, God, I don't even know how to describe him. He's just every sort of evil. Oh, now this one. This is purity personified. Okay, you just keep obsessing over my photos and, uh, I will obsess over mine. We're a little bit behind on diary reading, so we're going to do a little bit of catch up as soon as we can open it.
Because there's probably going to be some useful information that we're going to need. I mean, not that we could have really written anything <laughs> as of now, but at least for the past past few main events, we're a little behind. One of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. This is the first a episode back. A wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started Max. this insane Max. week. Wait, this has only and been a week? It's going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh, well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, I'm surprised uh, she's not up throwing hands. Okay, then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Max knows how to, to keep her cool. I have to about Jefferson and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do your, to do your homework. That's right. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. This diary literally saved my life. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Ew, yeah, no, we don't want to read Found that. Him. There we go, perfect. So hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed. Uh, what else can we look at? I just really Let's get our notes quick. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? All right, let's get this going. We're gonna text David. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Oh, that's the dream. The past was in the past. Uh-oh. Am I pushing myself too hard? Maybe, but we just gotta go with it. It's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everyone, everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy's a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Damn! How did she see it and not me? It doesn't me? matter what happens to me. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Alright, I guess it's still worth taking a little peek at everything again. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. Not impressed anymore. Uh, yeah, we've seen that in places it shouldn't be. Now I wonder how many victims Jefferson has left behind in his career. Yeah, are they just all dead? I can't blame the cameras, but I just think of Jefferson using them. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. 
We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Oh. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Rachel, I'm sorry. Man, this is so messed up. But I guess, you know what? It kind of explains not not everything, but partially why Nathan's the way he is. Just a week ago, I was so naive about art. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. An everyday hero is going to bust your ass, Jefferson. That is right. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Give photo, what photo? Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson yeah. now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or <clears throat> guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. <laughs> Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. That was... I just don't know how... I don't know what's going on, honestly. I... I don't get this. Okay, I like that photo. Oh, I see. We're changing time here. Wait, 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 wait. So are they showing us, like, the replaced memories based on... Right?
I don't know. Changing the past isn't good. What's meant to happen is meant to happen. But I don't know. I hope everything is going to work out good because of this. Whoa. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. So we're going to San Francisco. And Jeffrey. Okay, so, so I I'm guessing we're doing everything right this time. So this is good. This is good. This is very good. This David. Is Knew I could trust David. And Chloe's alive. Chloe. Wonderful. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can actually. Okay, great. We can go back. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where we would have left off so we're gonna catch up on a couple of main events from the last episode which i actually think will be really really good because i can already see david mentioned in here which might be perfect because i feel like he is going to be a valuable ally so let's read a lot of pages so today as in yesterday or whenever i finally found out it was in david's secret files and i admit i expected it to be worse i'm relieved that it wasn't so maybe i'm going easier on him than i should no surprise that he had detailed files on kate and rachel listing what their whereabouts along with surveillance pics david isn't off my shit list yet but he's a damn good investigator i'll give him that it's clear that Frank and Rachel had some kind of relationship, and I don't think Chloe is going to be very happy to hear that. She needs to start waking up. We all do. When David came home, things escalated quickly. He looked more upset than usual, but shrugged when he saw me wearing Rachel's clothes. He was so on edge. Maybe I'll never get to see the David that Joyce loved so much. She and Chloe really let him have it, though. This was the first time I saw them bond since we were kids. Suddenly, I couldn't take it anymore either, and I kind of blew up. It was like... A torrent that felt awesome. I've been wanting to rip into David like that myself for a long time, but I figured worst case scenario, hello rewind power, but I wanted Joyce to know the depth of his weird paranoia. I'm kind of regretting that now. She looked so sad and angry when I told her about the photos of Rachel and Kate, not to mention the home surveillance. Joyce kicked his ass out of the house to Chloe's glee. A little bit of regret. Despite David's evidence in the bracelet, Chloe refused to believe Rachel was involved with Frank. This is a part of Chloe I don't much like. She gets so damn petulant if she doesn't get her way. Or she hears something that she doesn't like. Serious denial. I get why, but that doesn't make dealing with it any easier. So I threw my hands up and suggested we check out Frank's RV. I knew that would piss Chloe off and she would do anything to find out what kind of relationship he had with Rachel. But first, we have to get the damn keys to the RV, which meant going into the Two Whales Diner and bouncing like a rewind pinball between Frank, Nathan, Prescott, and Officer Barry, and fucking with all of them. I'm still dizzy thinking about how I pulled it off. Yay for Max. Sometimes I feel like I'm cheating at life. On Two Whales. The first thing we have to do is get Frank's scary dog out of the RV. He was not scary. He was so cute. So we did the classic cartoon, give a dog a bone routine, and Kujo became Scooby-Doo just like that. Frank's RV was pretty much what I expected. The drug dealer trash chic. So aesthetic. But it wasn't as serial killer as I feared. We ransacked the place and found what Chloe didn't want us to find. I'm sorry Chloe had to see the pictures of Rachel posing for Frank, even if she did care about him. To her, it's just another betrayal, just another loved one dumping on her. Everybody she ever loved she lost one way or another. Only I came back from the past. For what? To make Chloe's life more painful? I just wish I could use my rewind power to go all the way back to the days when we were covered in pancake flour. The life was simple. 
October 10th, Dear Diary. Let's never do the time warp again. I can't even begin to explain what happened. If I think too hard about the ramifications, my brain might melt. When I try to describe it, it's as if I'm describing something that happened to someone else. Chloe was so upset when we discovered that Rachel had actually been involved with Frank Bowers and she just blew up. I can never talk to her when she's like this and I just get so tired of having to walk on eggshells in front of her emotions. She still blames William for her messed up life no matter how much she knows she's being unfair. I can't say that it wouldn't be just as messed up. Not that I'm not in my own way. In my room, all I can think was, I wish I could go back in time and help Chloe, and suddenly I was looking at the photograph William had taken of us the day he died. And it started pulsing like it was a 3D, like I could see inside the photograph. Then I found myself actually back in the photo, to when I was 13 years old. I was back in Chloe's kitchen in the year 2008, with Chloe and William. Right before he left to pick up Joyce for the last time, since my power somehow morphed to this new level of rewind, I decided that there was no way I was going to let William die again. So I played the hide the keys until he had no other option but to take the bus. I was so happy I actually saved William. I never thought about what could go wrong. I knew I was screwed when I came out of my epic rewind and saw Victoria Chase, but now she was my friend and I was a member of the Vortex Club. Enough said. I knew I'd screwed up and then I felt sick thinking about what might have changed with Chloe. I had a clue when I saw David Madsen driving the school bus. He sure didn't look so threatening anymore. I didn't want to know how he ended up as a bus driver instead of with Joyce. I felt my heart drop when I run rushed to Chloe's house, so when William opened the door, I prepared for the worst. That's when Chloe rolled forward in her wheelchair, paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't even know what to say, so I covered my mouth in the typical gesture of shock and stupid. But Chloe's smile was so genuine and beautiful I almost cried. I had to adjust everything without freaking out or telling Chloe that I actually altered time and space to save her father. But I'd get her in a car accident so she could never walk again. The thing is, she was still Chloe, just minus all the rage. This Chloe was just grateful to be alive and have her family watching over her. Chloe begged me to spend the night and of course I did. I noticed how run down parts of their home were compared to before. I saw the incredible expensive equipment that Chloe now requires, including her new garage room. Sorry, David. Even though I felt awful and disconnected, Chloe was just so bubbly and excited to hang out with me again, especially since I flaked on her pretty hardcore after her accident. Even in an alternate universe, I'm a shitty friend. Well, this was sad. Chloe's world was so new and unique to me, especially her strength and kindness and pain. She needed a whole pharmacy to get through the day. I didn't feel sorry for her, I felt in awe with her attitude. This Chloe didn't blame anybody for her condition, even though she had the right. We strolled down the beach and saw the beach whales that proved something was bad was happening in both realities. And then Chloe asked Lena to put her to sleep. The accident left her body pretty much broken, her lungs stopped working properly and she was basically dying a slow painful death. She also felt so guilty about her parents' sacrifice and dwindling income. She wasn't erratic or tortured about this request, just practical, which made me feel even more terrible for putting her in this situation. But there was no way I was going to help my best friend take her own life. I couldn't do it, especially after what happened with Kate. I know I should have done whatever Chloe asked of me, considering I was responsible for her situation, but how could I inject her full of morphine and just watch her fade away? I knew she was upset, but I just had to tell myself that this reality wasn't real. After my visit to Chloe's new world, I knew it was time to go max to the future. <laughs> I like that. I had seen the results of my temporal tampering and got scared thinking my new power wouldn't even work anymore. That would have been cruel karma. Fortunately, I was able to project myself into the photograph once again and undid everything I'd done. Goodbye, William. Again. Hello, David. Again. I've never been so glad to see Chloe in my life. The second I saw her blue hair and that beautiful pissed off face, I wanted to kiss her again. I couldn't even tell her where I'd been or why. It would have been one more thing to alienate Chloe from me and the world. I had to get refocused on our search for Rachel. Chloe had been busy with her detective work while I was in my alternate timeline. Of course, it was much easier for me to explore David's garage since Joyce booted his ass out. That made Chloe more content than I've just about seen her since I returned. I still feel kind of bad for David, but he overstepped his authority. Dismissed. And it's so much easier to grab David's X-Files when he's not there. 
After we gathered our new info like Halloween treats, I loved watching Chloe go into Sherlock mode while we examined all of our clues on the big old drawing board. Of course, we all know that she's more of a Dr. Watson, right? Elementary. Honestly, with all the impending doom and sadness, I just felt so happy just to find myself back in action with my best friend and her butterfly blue hair. Hella yes! <laughs> But first things first, I really need to go see Kate. I've never visited anybody in a hospital before. Much less anybody who's tried to commit suicide, so I was happy Chloe wanted to come along for support. The antiseptic smell and the endless white hallways... White halls always kind of weird me out. Or maybe I'm just projecting my own fear of mortality. When I saw Kate in her room, surrounded by cards, flowers, and balloons, all I could think of was when I saw her the last time, on the roof. Her face was so sad and sincere and helpless then, but now she had more life in her than I'd seen in a long time. I had no idea what to say to somebody in a situation like this. How are you after you almost jumped off a roof? But Kate's gentle spirit made it easy. I was overjoyed to see that she was drawing again and making plans for the future, including to get justice for what Nathan Prescott had done to her, or what I call revenge. So after getting all the inside info and assists from the other members of our team, Chloe and I made our way to the boys' dorm, aka Nathan's lair. Chloe stood guard out in the hall while I stealthed my way into Nathan's room. And even though I've become a master spying detective, I still get the surprise by things I see or find, like Nathan's sleek expressionist bro cave. It was like walking from light to shadow in a single step. I swear I could feel the temperature drop the second I walked in. But then you know Nathan loves photography, or knows photography, and he knows you have to keep the film and equipment chilled. I store my instant film horn in Mr. Jefferson's classroom. Probably shouldn't have done that. Speaking of cold stuff, Nathan's room was layered in creepy shit. The disturbing but impressive photos, all the evidence from his father's bullying, and probably the most important clue we could ever find. Nathan's phone, likely loaded with messages and mysteries. It's not a good thing that I've internalized spying and stealing so casually over the past week. Everyday hero, am I right? And that's when Nathan Prescott showed up. He looked so wild-eyed and out of control that I felt a twinge of sympathy that he clearly needed help. But then I remembered he was also an asshole and had been extremely dangerous to me, Chloe, and Kate. So before I had to rewind, Warren entered the scene and my white knight head butted. Nathan in perfect payback. I couldn't believe it. Neither could Nathan. In fact, Warren literally did go ape all over Nathan's face. It wasn't cool, but my nerves were so frayed from the week, and I was so over all the Blackwell bullies that I didn't try to stop Warren from beating Nathan into submission. Warren had his own issues to work out on Nathan. After the dorm brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we can get him to join us. Unfortunately, Frank was not in a helping mood. He went ballistic and attacked Chloe. She injured him in the leg, which totally freaked me out, even though I feel like I've been seeing Chloe get shot all week. Man, she's just so hard to keep alive, man. All I could think was, this is really happening. I'm outside an RV in a fight with a drug dealer. So our mission to bring Frank on board was impossible. So now he's even more pissed off at Chloe and me. Pardon me thinks that he is right, since we wounded him in the leg, but the other parts think that Frank would be hurt at some point by somebody else. He should be lucky it was by us dorks. I hope his leg is okay and we don't end up with worse karma. This is not how I wanted our visit to go and I don't want Chloe to beat herself up even more over what happened. She did defend me. Ah, oh, sigh. But we have bigger Franks to fr <laughs> We have bigger Franks to fry or fuck up. Onward. My life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space, but it's aging me before my own time and space. Am I learning things I shouldn't? Messing up too much shit, including my own history? Obviously, my nosebleeds and dizzy spells are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers, but it's become almost part of my nature. Or maybe a habit. Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. Man, this is so, f this is so weird. You know, I'm kind of happy I'm reading this now, although I don't want to just be reading this all in bulk because I literally just didn't read in the lapse last episode because I forgot but when like Jefferson was saying like oh I want to see your innocence go into corruption I don't know just a lot of parallels here I remember this famous episode of the original Star Trek oh nice where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die so the Nazis won't win the war what kind of fucked up choice is that 
What would have happened if I had not been in the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? But damn it, I was there, and thus I was supposed to be there. Destiny. So things got a bit out of hand with Frank, but honestly, what else could we expect? He's not really your everyday hero type, and it was probably stupid of us to help for a change, but hey, we had to confront him. We tried to persuade him we're on the same side, but it was a race to time. We eventually had to defend ourselves and hurt him in the leg, but despite the rage in his eyes, he somehow gave us what we were looking for. He was on the verge of unleashing hell on us, but I think we avoided the worst. I just hope our paths won't cross again anytime soon. I still don't know why Chloe or Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, and I can't suss that out anymore. Me, if I hadn't left town, I'd be less judgmental, but I definitely don't see the good in him. Anyhow, we tried, right? And now we have Nathan's phone, David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues which brings us closer to finding Rachel Lamper. Finally, this is the moment where all our clues come together and we have a location outside of town that might lead us straight to Rachel Lamper. And beyond. After everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me since I do feel we're at the end of the road. Hopefully not the end of the world. But whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls and bravery. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I know she would die for me, and I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. And Chloe's more focused now than before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what, and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine a light into the dark room. Chloe and I loaded up our coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet yet excited. It's hard to explain the feeling. Even with all the horrible things happening, I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part of some greater mystery that involved time, space, and all our fates. I never had much fate, not the Kate Marsh kind anyway, but I couldn't believe we were being set up for doom after everything that happened this week. But I wasn't prepared for the dark room. The coroner led us to an old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family, and I shouldn't have been surprised it was actually housing a weird secure bunker that was filled with Prescott memorabilia and worse. If there was evil ground zero, this place was it. Covers filled with named red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I uh, even had a clue that our amateur detective work would lead us to this kind of professional hell. When I saw the binder marked Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue about what was coming. I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh posed unconscious with that motherfucker, Nathan Prescott. She did know the truth about what happened to her, even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. And then Rachel Amber delicately composed photographs of her drugged and all over Nathan, like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel. I felt nauseated. All the hope I was feeding Chloe felt like vapor. And then we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his vicious layout with poor Rachel in the junkyard. We finally found Rachel Lambert, dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry, William. Fuck you, Arcadia Bay. High school should be the best years of your life. I've heard over and over from my parents and other experts. Fuck do they know. Tell that to Rachel Lambert or Kate. I've never seen Chloe so cold and hard. She won't let go of the gun. So we have to find Nathan before Chloe kills him. And if that happens, it will be hard to rewind. But we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible, so I have to block out those images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Lambert that will be buried into my retinas forever. There's still a final secret to uncover, and nothing is going to stop us now. Not even a goddamn tornado. Chloe and I pulled up to the Black Hills parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party. Oh, the irony. We had to get rid of poor Warren Fast, who wanted to bask in his alpha glory and hang out with Chloe and me. I can't put another one of my friends in danger, so bizarre to see all the students dressed up in expensive outfits or pre-Halloween costumes talking and laughing and smoking and drinking as if there wasn't a serial killer going to the same party or the town wasn't in eco-danger. As if to remind me of Arcadia Bay's ticking doomsday clock, I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon, or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a dork, just trying to make sure my iris wasn't foggy. What kind of- what? Like- Sorry, well, what, what, what about rubbing your eyes is, is dorky? <laughs> like, anyway, <laughs> was this another sign or an environmental illusion? Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance, so she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. 
Nathan doesn't know that he's running out of time too. No irony intended. We are. My first and last Vortex Club party. Flashing lights in DJ Doom. No comment. Spinning. In an alternate reality, I might have been at this party, standing in the corner, shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems, but now look at me. But I had to find Chloe first, then Nathan before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she's actually just a terribly insecure person with talent, passion, and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no good reason. I see beyond our petty mean girl drama and assume she has a role to play in all of this too. So we talked like human beings, I warned her without specifics of Nathan. She believed me, and it felt so warm to make a connection with my previous quote enemy. A sliver of light in all this darkness. Let there be more. October 11th, I guess? I watched Chloe die again, killed by my favorite teacher. Why? Because we were stupid and let Jefferson trick us with a phony text. So we ended up back at the junkyard and fell right into his trap. We should have called the police the second we found Rachel, but I'd gone along too far with Chloe. I keep thinking I'm invincible, that I'm a real everyday hero, but no, I'm just Max Caulfield. Maybe all my powers are an accident or fate. An accident of fate. Or am I being punished like Chloe? What have we done to deserve all this pain? What did Rachel do? Kate? William? Then there's Mark Jefferson. I can't ever call him Mr. again. I'm still shocked that he turned out to be one of the one hiding behind the dark room. But if I think back on those pieces of time Jefferson had been dropping hints all along, it makes me sick to think how long he's been doing this for and to whom. The needle. I can still feel that needle on my skin. Thank God I can't remember Jefferson posing me for the most of his sick session. Imagine all those other people to suffer through that horror, like Rachel and Kate. That made me determined to get out of that room, at least to stop him and save Chloe. I had to use my focus rewind on multiple photos so often that even I got confused. <laughs> me too. Worse still, I knew I was screwing around with various realities again, but I had no other choice. Chloe would not die in a junkyard next to Rachel, uh, Rachel Amber. And there was no fucking way I was going to let Jefferson be the last person I ever saw. It's hard to even imagine myself in that studio alone with Jefferson acting like that. Everything was so neat and sterile, but it felt like the filthiest place on earth. Actually, that is a fantastic description. It felt like, like it was so sterile and clean like a hospital, but it just, yeah, it, it felt so fucking filthy. If I didn't have this ability to bend time, what would have I done? What could have I done? Sometimes I felt removed, like I was looking at myself going through this hell. But thanks to Jefferson's class photo, he personally helped me to escape. I also feel so terrible that Victoria had to end up in here with me, just because I warned her about Nathan. I should have known that she would rush to Jefferson for protection. Okay, stop threatening me with suspending this. You have not done it yet. I'm sure you said that over 15 minutes ago. I bought this game. We've been over this. Anyway. Instead, he kidnapped her and almost murdered her because of me. I didn't actually even think of that. Like, I didn't think cause and effect there when we warned her that that's who she would have went to. That's so fucked though because it just goes to show like how well Jefferson manipulated literally all of us. I'll never forget the way Jefferson looked at me, so cold and mean. I felt like I was on one of those awful true crime shows my mom binge watches. How can somebody, how does somebody become evil? He actually shot Chloe in the head just like that. Motherfucker, I wish the police had taken Nathan in after I told Principal Wells that he drugged Kate. He might still be alive, and maybe he wouldn't have taken down Jefferson too. Or maybe he would have taken down Jefferson too. Man, there's just so many gaps with Nathan's story though, because I feel like it was just Nathan was the enemy all along. But now it's like, I don't know, knowing that Jefferson was so cold, calculating, manipulative, narcissistic, psychopath every diagnosis I could probably think of. Nathan was already in a pretty vulnerable position from the start. You know, I remember we were looking at all those like psych meds he was on and clearly there's a lot going on there and <laughs> it 
maybe I shouldn't have beat the shit out of him. Or Warren shouldn't have, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, can't go back. I can't believe I was able to focus and rewind my selfie all the way back to our class on Monday. I turned in my photo for the contest after I sent a text to David warning him about Jefferson. Phew, the only reason I haven't had a total meltdown is the fact that I, that I do have this incredible power. I have to use it right for once, and maybe never again. It was weird to be in class with Jefferson, like I wasn't just tortured by him in an underground bunker. I saw him for the first time as he is. A creepy, manipulative psychopath filled with bullshit, uses art and passion to seduce people, but behind that there's nothing but hate and perversion. I only pray that I can fix this timeline, not fuck it up. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna lose my voice from all that reading. And I'm surprised, I'd be surprised if you guys aren't sick of my voice right now, so. I think we've caught up on most of these though. Man, I missed almost in every photo. I actually took less photos than I missed. Oh boy, and we have all these text messages to catch up on. Oops. You know what, now I am so confused when it comes to the dates, because is this like, October 10th, the first time, the second time. I don't know, but let's just catch up on these text messages. <laughs> and then anything that comes in new, we'll know. All right, this is the text we were just texting with Chloe. You know, I'm the superstar going to San Francisco. No emoji. All right, let's continue. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Let's see, 10 across, 6 letters. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Oh. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Yeah, we gotta read this. Two Moon Diner. Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Black Bull Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Oh, this is wonderful! Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. No, not Hot Dog Man. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. Oh, I know. <laughs> when we were innocent. Where's ketchup, huh? Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe Just and I used to totally so play wrong. the video game and watch so him wrong. all the time. <laughs> when we oh, and he's got, like, human arms, too. That's even creepier. It's like that... Remember, like, on Snapchat, that little okay, viral hot dog seat, man filter? Any electronic <laughs> gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping... 
These airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Uh, uh. Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Uh-oh. Okay, erase that. We're going to the airport with the principal. Are these supposed to be all the winners from the other schools? It's suspiciously calm. I'm so on edge right now. Like, I can't even relax and enjoy this because I just, I just know something is gonna go wrong. Or we're gonna find out something really so bad cool. happened. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't That's have so to true. eat the caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact... You're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Well, that's good advice. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... Weird. Life is weird. Life is strange. All right, all right. Max of the future. It feels like I finally made things right. Chloe's alive. David Madsen became a real everyday hero by busting Jefferson in his dark room, along with Nathan and his father. Father. The Prescotts have lost control of Kitty at bay. Now I'm the official everyday hero on my way to San Francisco with Principal Wells, who's a lot more funny and laid back when he's not stressing about Blackwell Academy. It's hard for me to totally relax, but all those pieces of time do seem to be falling into place. Yeah, I'm glad she's on the same page as me. I literally just cannot relax right now. Just... <sighs> yeah, why is that little star there? It's like acting like there's something new. Am I missing something? I mean, we got 67 pages here. I could very easily be missing something. Maybe an added sticky note? It's just bothering me that there's a little star there. Objective, I should find my winning selfie. Okay, well, what about text? Anyone text me? No?
Okay, I'm just gonna ignore it. Let's explore. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Give the gift of art. Donations go straight into community arts programs. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. Oh my god, is it chicken? Is it a chicken? A warrior chicken? The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Night. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Oh, thank you. I don't know why every time they say Max Caulfield, I just like, I always just think cauliflower, like Max Cauliflower. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. The Golden Gate Reporter. I left my art in San Francisco by Daniel Lee. Yes, I was born on a BART train, literally. It's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to mom. That might explain my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outposts of artists and descendants. Despite the rampant gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of socioeconomic pressures, because that's what they do. In galleries such as the Zeitgeist and Milkovich Fashion have engaged with the diverse community and practice what some patrons can only preach. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. Dude, I am so freaked out by submarines. How many more shops and residents have to be driven out of their lifelong homes by the latest boutique cafe or overpriced theme restaurant? The tech heads that have enslaved the city need a lesson in transgression. Yeah. Relatable. Holy shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. Oh my god, spooky art. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. <laughs> Skulls and bones, spooky art, ink fortress, horror bands, midnight burlesque, <laughs> dust to dawn, 18 and over only, tenderloin warehouse. But what would I wear? Nigel's Samhain Druid Festival. I'll pass. There I am, ah! along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. I hate that there's a Sean and a Nathan right under me. Because, you know, Sean and Nathan Prescott. Hi, have you seen my photo? You look like... You look like shit. Oh my god, they didn't even try with you. You just look like a shittier Jefferson. Actually, no, not shittier, sorry. Anyone's better than Jefferson, you're better. You know what? No, no, I'm not even going to compare you to Jefferson. He's in his own category. You just look like a photographer, a great photography teacher that Blackwell could use to replace. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. Well, if you just I'm know the that. for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. You know, you could look at me while you're talking instead of this woman that you're, I don't know what you're doing with, but okay, I still appreciate it. Oop. No, stop it, stop it. No, how do I unrewind? Don't rewind. Is my controller broken or? Oh, well, it's not like I've done anything that crazy. Oh, it's a baby and a dog. I thought it was a baby and a bear for whatever reason. Hello, hello, hello. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, oh God. I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. 
No, why does no one look at me when they talk? I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. What about this? Huh? 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 Oh, look, there's Principal Wells eating all the caviar. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all, me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. I do not understand art. Man, speak. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Okay, don't get too close to that photo, dude. I guess everybody is a photographer now. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Hi, I excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You did all the talking, you man. You Danny. <laughs> And there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Oh no, did we look a little too hard at that photo? It was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Okay. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, whoa, whoa. High altitude, right? <laughs> Come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man, your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado, it's coming. What? Oh, no. 
Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm, Chloe! I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Oh, shit. Okay. I have to find a way to access my selfie, because I guess we're going to go back again. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Okay, I have to go back to my photo. Not that one. Where was depth, mine? The depth of it was up no here. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I, I oh have to save her. Oh my god. Man, I gotta say, Chloe is the hardest person to keep alive. It's now. just... The, the world is not having it with her, apparently. Excuse me, I'd love to ask Get you a few questions here. about your work. I'm busy. Sorry, but... Come on, get into focus. Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. Why is this so hard? There we go. Bad exposure, bad framing, Bad picture. I could have done this so much better. Uh-oh. Oh no. I broke the game. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I think we got it this time. I hope. I just managed to break everything. All of my things. All the games I play. <laughs> this, this year is just not working for me, guys. All right, now oh, we just- shit. Oh, my head. How long ago was this? Double Nosebleed 2. This now? is bad. It feels like reality is- Breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I feel like this game is gonna get to a point where my previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. I don't know. Some things we just aren't meant to change. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. So we gotta so get rid of the photo. Francisco. Chloe comes first. We're just not even gonna enter the competition. Uh, it was uh, it was too good to be true. Wait, so that means the Jefferson thing still happened? Like, where are we going in reality? I just, oh my god! So creepy now, like.
I don't, I don't know. I don't like where this is going. We just keep messing up everything. Everything just can't be perfect. Like, I think this game is like at the end of the day, just trying to teach us, teach us a big lesson. <sighs> oh, I'm not here. God, no, I'm back here again. I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. God damn it. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. Maybe if you didn't drug me. Transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No, what's that mean? Oh, as if you care. Wait. Oh my god! It's just a Your fucking serial killer. Dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried Not my away. diary. Fuck. He burned my diary. That's why I'm still here. Oh, no! Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? No, because I'm locked in this fucking basement. Like I said... something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. Appreciated by who? The loss. Who are you gonna show these to? The earth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. Thank God. And I promise you. No more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. Holy crap, that's a huge dose of something. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson. Please, don't do this. I promise. Oh my gosh, how do I do something? <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleed. Okay, I keep hitting buttons that are clearly not working. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Can I do anything right now? Okay. No, we don't want that to happen. I promise. 
Mom. Oh my god, what do I do? Like, I thought I had Promise. my foot detached. Do I just have to let this hard. happen and wake up somewhere else? What? Oh, yes. That's... <gasps> no, David! Oh, fuck. No! How did he get here? No I don't know. Wait, hold on. Can I. Can I please ask you for one last. We gotta stall him. Request. Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Hmm. Play some music, he would. I feel like all these things would get him to move around, but if I ask him for a picture, I feel like he would get really into it, really focused on Max, and he'd be facing Max, so he wouldn't see David coming from behind. So I think that's our best would bet. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. Oh, cringe. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. <laughs> Say cheese. How do we write in our diary if we're not... Okay. <laughs> David, where are you? I promise. This final dose won't hurt. God damn it. David, where are you? Hey, what's going on? Where's everybody? Uh, hello? I have to actually try something else. Play some music. Could you please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trait. Kate's folder. Oh my god, David! Okay, never mind. That wasn't the right one either. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Maybe I'm just not waiting long enough because David did come right in right when he was about to poke me. So maybe I just gotta not chicken out and just wait a little bit. I promise this final dose won't hurt. David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! How? How did 
did you know that? No gun. No balls. Oh my god, what do I do? It's over. You are not going to stop me. Jefferson, it's over. Damn it, David. Over. You are not going to David, stop me. Kick that table. Yes, sir. <laughs> David, come on. David Madsen. Jefferson, it's Grab that over. Bottle. Over. You are not going to stop me. Nice. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. You know what, David Madsen? was our everyday hero. Oh, right, yeah, my thing's burnt. Thank God I caught up on all that until now. Imagine, oh my God, I missed all that. I got a bunch of text messages. Oh yeah, they're wondering where Victoria is. Prescott's had to know about this. I better go. Just looking at that makes me want to vomit. <sighs> I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. This is so fucked. No. Damn. What the Jefferson hell? torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was gonna kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and 
Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and I almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Well, I guess at this point, you know what? We just may as well tell the truth. David... Uh, Chloe is... is dead. This isn't happening. You can't... No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you, are you sure? Are you... Yes, I... I saw her. I... I saw a... Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! Uh oh. David, wait! I had a feeling it was gonna happen right after I made the decision to say that. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. Oh my God, it's so my sad, family. I'm gonna cry. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. Well, actually, you know what? None of this has to happen because we're going to go back in time with the photo that Warren took of us and do this for the third, fourth millionth time. Yeah, 
Yeah, we gotta change this. Let's just get out of here. Do I? Why am? Why am I you still peeping? Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Very true. You won't be going, Jefferson, to any more shows. Oh, Chloe, I'm gonna save you for the last time. I wish I could keep killing you Wait, forever. Wait, three? There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. Bullets? Nobody will look at Jefferson's work the same. Thank God. What do I tell Jefferson? I mean, it's kind of creepy what? either way. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. So cold and calculating. Jefferson had plenty of women who would have totally posed for him. Right under my nose. But he didn't want to give his subjects a choice. Let's get out of this place and fix things fast. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find more. It almost seems like in every reality, yes. Chloe is like <laughs> meant to be killed. Like, Warren, by the storm. Can you hear me? By Frank. By Jefferson. Never mind. By Listen, Nathan. Do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah. But why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Oh, come on. Why can't he just text it to me? I, I actually got to go all the way. Steal your car too, Jefferson. I told you, I trust Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I am oh the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God! One new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, it's coming for me now. All this shit over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just got chills from that. Fuck, man. Oh my god. We had it all so wrong. I had it all so wrong. Man, life just isn't fair. I don't even know if we can fix this. Like, I don't think I. I don't know.
my god. Wait, hang on. Oh, we keep getting journal entries, but every time I open it, it's burnt! Sorry, I had to run. Cars are flying. Barely needed to do two whales. Okay. Hey! That guy is trapped! I have to help everybody I can. Thanks, kid. Are you okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shithole town. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. I will go. And you go. Stay safe, my friend. Oh, I don't think this one's helpable. Death is everywhere. It's following me. Uh -oh. There's only one way around this. Okay, I think there's somebody I need to help that I may have missed. Uh oh. Not Evan. I have to stop him from getting hurt. Who's Evan? Where is this Evan? Is it's all over now. Uh oh. This is the end. Oh. Okay, somebody needs help and they're calling. They're stuck where? Who's stuck? Please, God! Mystery solved. But nobody gets a reward. I'm returning your tablet that I basically stole from you. I saw it laying there with all those- <gasps> The cat pigs! And I just took it. I'm sorry for putting you through all this bullshit. I've been going through a lot myself the past year and I was jealousy at all those cats. Nobody likes me here so I thought it'd be funny to take your tablet. Things like this are why nobody likes me here. I wasn't sure if I could face you so I wrote this note just in case. Either way, here's your tablet back. I hope I haven't caused you too much stress, and I hope you know how lucky you are to have so many cool cats in your life. I am clearly not one. That was the biggest mystery of them all. Okay. Somebody sounds like. Oh, oh, it's Alyssa! Alyssa needs help again. How do I help? Help me get down, Max. Uh, how? Do this. Please help me get down. Oh, my goodness, these. How? Oh, my God, Alyssa, you always need help. Let me help you down. Well, that shit, Whenever you show up, I have to get out of the way. You just asked me for 
Alright, well I tried, but I guess I'll try again. Help me, Melissa! Are you okay? Let me help you down. Well, that shit Max. Wait! Help me! Alyssa is stuck in that house. I have to get her out fast. Alyssa! Warn her and be like, wait, don't step backwards. Help me, Lisa. Are you okay? Let me help you down. Well, that shit maps. Whenever you show up, I have to get out of the way. So just get. Ah! No! Okay, well. Oh, there's a plank. I guess I was supposed to use that. slow today. I just got off a night shift, so please don't blame me if I can't save everybody. I'm oh, trying no, my Lisa. best. Take my hand. Running on no sleep Can here. I, I finally saved Alyssa. Now I am. We need to get out of here. Alyssa, you go on. I have to help other people. Alright, all I remember is she did say Evan needs help, but I don't know where Evan is. And I- Oh shit, no. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Stop it, stop it, stop. How do I unrewind? No! Oh god damn it! How do I un- mm. Why can I never stop rewinding? I gotta do- Oh my god! Help me get down, Max! Let's say you're the bait of my existence. Oh, okay, I think I fast forwarded, so never mind. <laughs> Ignore my complaints. I'm uh, on episode 5, and I still just could not- I still cannot get these rewind controls right. Like, I don't know what it is. Alright, where is Evan? I will keep on listening for shouting. But I don't want to miss anybody. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are going to die tonight from that thing, but we are going to bring the death toll down by at least a few. Oh. 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 I missed. You know what? Two out of three. How can I get out of here? What are you writing? Electrocuted. No. I can't die in this world. I can't. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. All right, we gotta find another way. Oh, this makes me so sick. Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. 
Yeah, but I, but, but, but I will electrocute him if I do that. Can I not like hop over? I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and I can parkour that. If we can make it out of this, Chloe. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in. Sh I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Don't fail me, Fusebox. I don't know what else to do. Oh, right. Haha, <laughs> rewind power. I can't hide this room. Come on. You have to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. Okay, I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Say no more, we're getting out of here. Oh look, it's right there. Just about there. Die. How poetic. Die. <laughs> oh, that thing's about to light on fire. Hey, what is igniting? How do I stop that? Can I stop that? Stop that fire? Shit, I don't think I can. How else do I stop Come on, it? Stop that fire. How? It's clearly starting from over here. You know, if Max could just walk a little bit faster, this would be a lot e easier. Like, that fire's walking faster than me. Winding, I guess. How do I stop the fire? Sand. That'll work, right? Yes. 
Nice. Wish I figured that out, like, uh, two minutes ago, but I'll take it. The monsters are actually the people here. Right on time for Halloween, Arcadia Bay residents have found themselves in a real-life dystopian horror movie, complete with dying birds and beached whales. Even NASA's apparently baffled. What do we barely hate you people for? Well, we here at Bay Bud Weekly have seen enough creature features to warn you that it is likely a prelude to the appearance of a giant reptilian monster hell bent. I go vengeance. But that would be too easy and too metaphoric. Our society prefers the invisible beasts, the ones that who we suspect but can't truly pinpoint. That makes our ignorance bliss and the monsters happy. Yes, our big reptilian monster is Mr. Jefferson. Oh no, cop. I am just way too slow. It's too late now. Oh my god, look at all these dead people. Homeless. Oh no. Her. I should have warned her. Fuck, man. I, I just never even asked her name. So so I am so selfish. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not. At least a nobody's test. going to starve in here. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. And surrounding counties, the emergency broadcast system is now in effect. Max. Oh, Frank. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus! I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce. But it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. I should have seen it coming. So Hello. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Dear Chloe. Boys. Sorry. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, not to mention the fact that I might die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I could see. You know what? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet that thief Chloe and you didn't find Rachel. Right? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. How do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck! I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Pompadour hated him. Pompadour yeah. knew saw, best. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and... Gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to oh, him. Oh no. I killed my lioness. Oh no. Uh, no. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. 
She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, it's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. I'm glad we, we resolved things between us, Frank. I can't seem to... Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? She's safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't know his show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, I'm trying to keep my family together again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Me too. All right, Please I guess it's about alone. time we chat with our our man here. Oh wait, first aid kit. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. Drive to Los Angeles too. Well, hopefully we can fix that problem. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe, and 
I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa, is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person, not not a beta nerd. I an alpha nerd. I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science, even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. MVP, Warren. Best character. So underrated. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? No, this is not the end. Hey. Be careful out there. Oh, hug, kiss, or leave? I mean, we're going back in time anyway, so I may as well just go for it. I've been trying to make this happen since day one. For luck. Only Stella can see us now. Have this, I wanted to say. I know, Lauren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max.
Let's go back again. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? <laughs> I'm just glad we're here together. Or it's like, what I the guess fuck? You need to talk. Come on. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still I'm do try this. again. Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! If I'm totally strong and honest, she'll listen. Now, excuse me, I'm going okay. to that party to we'll make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. One bullet? Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing it. Like everything. a little more than one all bullet. All I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but but you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You you were completely paralyzed. And it, you you were in pain. You were slowly dying and you you asked me to end your life. But Chloe there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. 
That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been there so much. I I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. We just had to be honest with her. Okay, let's fix this timeline again. I'm actually so confused what's going on. I don't know what's real. I don't know what's not. This is crazy. Man, these, those were terrible. I did not like living through that. We gotta, we gotta make sure this doesn't happen again. Oh, Chloe. I see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? What's going on again? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive, oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. Worked, it actually worked. You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on, I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then, for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh, God, look at that. Look at 
fuck that monster? Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Rex. Oh, no. Oh, not again! Every time I get a little comfortable thinking that we finally found our perma permanent, I don't even know if that's the right, permanent reality or permanent, our actual timeline. This happens. I don't know where we are. I don't know where we are in time. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's alive or dead. I'm so confused. There's a big tornado freaking me out too. I'm just so scared and confused. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film oh my God, little not a pieces of time. I'm when he back in class. What the hell? What's going These on? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our sorrow. Have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. Shadow, this might be hell. The, the Dragurian now, process. Can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the human condition up. in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Let's do Bueller. the time. Diane Arbus. There you go. Don't Gloria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of what those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity. Oh God! What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, oh, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Oh, Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? We totally did. This doesn't make sense. No, it, it kind of does. As Warren would say, chaos theory. I'm not gonna examine every single thing in here for the millionth time, but ooh, can we go on his laptop? See what creepy shit he's got on there? That was just... Yeah. I see you, Max Caulfield. <laughs> Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. <laughs> oh my god. You scared me. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy together. Who oh. needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? What? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I hate all of these. And stop threatening me, PlayStation. Our dark room. My selfies are shit. I hate all of these. But... This is a different reality. He probably hasn't killed Clo- Has he killed Clo- You know what? I am going to manipulate him the way he manipulated everybody else. I love you, Mr. Jeffers. I've been dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me. <laughs> Gag reflex trigger. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Call me Mark. We need to play catch up on all the time we've wasted, especially since there's nobody left in your yeah, life. Apparently everyone's dead except us. I love you too, Max. can't be real. I don't believe it. Please, let me get out of this room. Oh my god, this is so wrong. Oof, I thought my game froze again there. What the hell? Maxine, you keep fucking up. How many times does Chloe have to die in front of you? Maybe it would be better to actually, you know, have a life? Find my cat pics, please. My heart is broken. Take a selfie, ho. Yes, you're running out of choices. Let's all go to the lighthouse. Max, why do you want to kill everybody? Why did- What did everybody ever do to you, bully? Go fuck yourself. Always take the shot. Dark room. 
This is fucked up. Max, is your old pal Chloe you left in a wheelchair in another reality? Did I thank you before you bailed to a new life? Not only did you blow off my request, you already jumped into another photo. How many fucking times can you abandon me, hippie? Pompid- What?! Bitch, do not mess with Frank! Or me! You got a snack?! Papa, dude, where did you get a cell phone?! What the- uh. Max, I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He- he absolutely captured you. If you want, we can hang out and get high. Rachel Amber here. Yo, I'm freaking out. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon, real soon. Samuel! Guys, I don't even know what's. I don't know if this is the game. I actually think I might be losing my mind. I don't know if it's because I have two hours of sleep from night shift or what. This was probably not the. I probably should have at least gotten eight hours before it because I don't know what is real or not. I might be going a little psychotic right now. Uh, good evening. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. This is so messed up. You know, I would have felt a little more comfortable if I didn't read any of what I just read. No oh, balls allowed. Okay. Kate. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Oh. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. I've lost it. I have lost it. Okay, this is just turned into a horror game. Isn't this that, what, PT Silent Hill loop that never was? That was still terrifying back in the day? Yo, yo, the Silent Hill, Silent Hill. The Silent Hill that never was. Stella Hill! Her name is Stella Hill. That's even freakier. Victoria Chase rules. Okay, we're gonna stay f away from Stella Hills. For Yo, I guess I'll just go to mine. I'll go to my- my room. Cause this is uh, too messed up. Yo, the- the drawing is gone. What the fuck is happening? Okay. <laughs> I am losing my mind right now. Do we have to go back to Kate's room? So, in this reality, she's dead, I guess. Never ends. I, I better find something. Dude, you're telling me. God damn it. 
Okay, maybe I don't need to go in anybody's room. Maybe I just need to go maybe the bathroom? Maybe I just gotta leave? Oh. What are you? 218. I'm not even gonna bother opening that door. Two nineteen. Two eighteen. Oh, a different habit. Oh, my God. The fuck, it's just all Rachel Amber. And two eighteen doesn't even. Oh wait, yeah, it does exist. Dana Ward. <laughs> I am freaked out. Wait. The rooms have changed. There's a Tara Garcia in my room, and there's Rachel Amber in 224. And Victoria Chase still rules. And we are Victoria Chase! Fuck your selfie, Rachel's a whore. You suck, Victoria. Victoria Chase rules. Victoria skank. Fuck your selfie. What the f I am losing my mind. The Max Caulfield is back. Victoria, you. I don't even know what that word is. Can't even read that. Still no key. This is gonna jump out at me. I already know it. <gasps> what the fuck is that? What is that? <gasps> this one is for Samuel. <gasps> You have to like that's not the scariest thing you've ever seen. Take a nap, guys. I gotta take a nap. Look at me. I am Max Selfie. Oh, thank <laughs> God, bro. <laughs> 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 this is so <laughs> cursed. <laughs> I'm going to go Yeah.
Cool. Oh, seven. Mavi. Cool. Yo, I'm not even bother cooling at people and. This is. I am. Yeah. Yo, stop bullying. This is Simlish, right? Shmush, Oh my god. Oh my god! Just, we're gonna follow the deer. And go get the Morcha Tabach. <laughs> is my journal gonna be written backwards too? Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Oh. Jefferson is coming after me. Max! Max. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Hit me with that flashlight? Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Be my selfie! Stan, Max. The only. Did I get Max? Caught? You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now. You have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie. Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Max? Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder- Max! Look. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. For life. This has got to be the scariest game I've played. Much less. Much less. I realize now you'll never me? be an artist. In Much HD? Less a photographer. Hello, Max. Yo, stop look looking at me, you fucking. Wait, Max. What what is this? It's so fast! What is this freak contraption? Thank you. Thank you. Like, where am I trying to go to? The dark room or the dark room? Well, I like those odds. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on... The mic on Max Caulfield. Oh my god, it's Kate! Attention! I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died under tragic circumstances. I'm dead? Max, where are you? Max, come out to play! Come out to play! 
Come out to play! Max! I love how they all just see me and they're like, Max! Hey, babe, babe! Who wants to go ape? Go ape, go ape, babe, babe! I wish I could press a button and blow this whole- Hey! Stop! Max! Stop it! Hey! <laughs> Max, where are you? I wish I could Max, press a button and blow this play. whole fucking school this is up. This so come hard. Out to play. The squirrels hate you. And they're hungry. If I found out who went through my files, I'll sick David Madsen on your ass. You thought I was harassing Kate, but I was helping her. What the hell did you do for her? Oh my god, where do I go? You're such a hypocrite, Max. I may be a dick, but at least I'm- This has got to be an absolute nightmare. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Those were my beans, Max! Those were my <laughs> they beans! Are his beans! Now that Chloe- Never. Fucking bees! Now that Chloe is dead, she's posing for you me. Won't be Rachel. If only you could have seen Rachel, my blood spattered angel. Oh no, bottles. This might be hell. You know, just sit down, have a nice little break in Max, this nightmare. Sit down. You're taking a time out no matter what. If this is my nightmare, let me have one sanctuary. Yeah, you don't want to control this, this nightmare. And Rachel used to hide from the world. But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. Am I just not learning my lesson? Maybe your real lesson is to get out of this place. Yes, I can support that. Just don't be afraid, Max. Let them be afraid of you. Yes, we are in control. We got the power here. Like, what are you going to do? Just scream at me? Point your flashlight in my eyes? What are you going to do? Just because I'm mentally ill doesn't mean I deserve to die, Max. I never said that. Up of my shit list now, Max. Oh shit, where am I going? Oh, the lighthouse, of course. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Psst. Max. Me and Rachel. I am not listening to you, voice. You're not real. Hey, what's going on in my, my book here? And did the dog text me again? Looks like there's still bottles to find. Joy. Oh, no way. Do I actually have to find bottles if I want to progress? I don't want to go back in there. They're all trying to flash me. What is happening? What? Don't you dare question the chef. 
Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom's away. I'll let her know that. I'm just a snow globe on the fireplace. I've been to watch this. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Aha, you can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice, try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dude, what? <laughs> oh my God. Will this nightmare go on? God, I'm going insane. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? Oh, pardon me. I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. I guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. What? I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. What? Come here. Damn, you are a sexy bitch. No! Why are you hanging out with Max, huh? No, what? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? <laughs> I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. I can't. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. <laughs> Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. What is happening? I can't believe it took us so long. Why is Chloe hooking up with everybody I know? Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. But I have a feeling it's not. Oh, sh. Oh. Oh, no. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Can I not just bust down the door?
Now why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Oh, true! Oh, wait, wait, there's a code. 0311. Nice. Good catch, Max. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. I can't believe you kissed me. Honey, I always thought of now you going to kill me. I know I haven't been the best girl. The squirrels die. It would have been a great everyday hero. I wish we had been friends, Max. Who... Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Oh no. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? It wasn't my choice. I didn't ask to rewind time. Stop playing innocent. You've left a trail of death behind you. You even let that stalker Madsen kill Jefferson. That's sick. Uh, huh? You're way more of a cold-blooded killer than him or Nathan. No, I'm a survivor. I don't have any experience in time travel or stopping psychopaths like Jefferson. I did what I had to. Oh, the jury will love to hear about your mad time travel skills. I know what I am. You're just trying to hurt me. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Just look at the pain you've caused. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? This has to be my destiny to save her. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I... I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the 
hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the... Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. This is so trippy. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized. I don't feel so super. Uh, you saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Oh my god. Look at that. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. It's like a Chloe memory from each episode. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now, you're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am 
awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. So weird. Now we're getting the alternate reality memories in here. What's real? What's oh, not? Awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate. Oh, this one's a sad one. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. Oh. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Chloe, you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high. But thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel, this can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead, no way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it, please, let's go. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Come on, Max. We're almost there. Please wake up, wake up. Passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible.
fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week and... You did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. No, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> and this is what it all comes down to. I've got to sacrifice my best friend, or I have to sacrifice an entire city. Oh my god! I d honestly think I'm completely 50-50 on this. Because... I mean, particularly this episode did a really, really good job of kind of showing all these alternate realities, all these alternate timelines, everything that could happen, and how altering reality and trying to make everything perfect never actually turns out perfect, and you always just wish it would go back to the way it was originally. That's like, that's pretty much what we kept doing this whole episode. We just keep coming back and back and back and rewind, rewind, go back to the furthest point, and it's, I feel like in a way it's like, we just need to let everything happen as it hap it was supposed to happen, which Oh, but that would that would involve letting Chloe get killed by Nathan. And it's so hard too because it's like everything in this game up to this point has surrounded keeping Chloe alive but it's like in every reality it's she just oh my god she's not like like I don't want to say she's not meant to live but like she seriously pretty much dies in every reality like in every timeline without like you need mass intervention to keep her alive and it's almost like 
I don't know. And I mean, even even still, we went through the town when the tornado was taking over, and so many, like, man, I was actually trying to save people, and I was still killing everyone, and... Like, I feel like this entire game has led up to a point where Max, like, her number one priority is Chloe, but... The end of the day, it's, we can't keep doing this forever. We don't know how long this power is gonna last, and, you know, if... Is it gonna come back to a point where Max is like, I need to go back in time? Like, Chloe maybe had a worse fate than... I don't know, like, you never... Oh, I don't want to make this choice! Oh, okay. Let my neck... my neck rest is... Yeah, I had to put this together, so... I genuinely want to do both options. But I know it's always the first decision you make is supposed to be like, you know, your your own canon playthrough. So I just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, if I sacrifice Chloe... I save the town. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. But then I, and then I feel like if I, if I saved Chloe... Chloe would lose everybody she loves. And sure, okay, yeah, you got your best friend, but, you know, you lose everybody, everything, and then, you know, Chloe would feel that guilt, and... You never know what goes on from there. I want to do both so badly, because I feel like Max is definitely on the side of, like, sacrificing the town. For Chloe? I'm never gonna finish this episode, because I'm never gonna make this choice. Can I just not? Can I skip? Can I... Oh. Okay, you know what? The purposes of this playthrough, I'm gonna say the lesson to be learned, what was meant to happen, will happen. Oh, I'm gonna sacrifice Chloe, I, oh. Max. I don't like this. It's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't wanna do this. I know, Max, but we have to, we have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have Oh, don't say that! No, I'm regretting, I'm regretting! You're my hero. Stop! Chloe, I'm gonna miss you so much. Oh my god. I don't think either choice is good. They're both I'll bad. I always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Oh my god. I want to go back. 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 I want to fix it. Oh. This choice, we just gotta deal with it. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. 
So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I hate my choice. But we're gonna let this go as intended. And save a lot more lives and bring people to justice a lot earlier.
Not many games make me cry, so that is saying something. Oh my god, look at that! You know what the worst part is? Is I'm in the min in the minority of deciding to save Clo uh, sacrifice Chloe. Yeah, I was hoping that we would get a little bit more, not context, but it was a hard decision to make because. I didn't, like, yeah, sacrificing Chloe kind of made it obvious what it would entail, but if I sacrificed Arcadia Bay, what does that mean? Do I get a chance to warn anybody? Do I get to save anybody? Does everybody around us die? Me and Chloe make it out? Like, it's just, it was a, it's really, it was a really tricky choice to make, but sacrificing Chloe almost kind of guaranteed that more people would make it through. And I imagine that sacrificing Arcadia Bay would have just forever changed Max and um, Chloe's relationship. Not for the better. I think Chloe would have had a lot of... Well, maybe not a lot, but at least some form of resentment. I don't know, who knows, if maybe she would have lost her mother, maybe David, like, you don't know, and... Sh who knows, maybe, maybe life would have been worse off that way, but... That's why, like, I'm still, like, split 50-50, like, I mean, I'm glad all the people that we got to see in the, like, just now survived. But... Like, I, I genuinely want to go back just to make the choice of sacrificing Arcadia Bay just to see what happens. Like, it's tricky because I do feel like the game kind of... I don't know, it, it sets you up to the point where it feels like you need to stick with Chloe. And I like that choice. After all that, you know, you, you build up this, this friendship. You give Chloe, you know, even though it was only a week, which is crazy to believe. It feels like literally this game was like a thousand years, but... I don't know. It, it makes you feel like the right choice is to save your best friend, which I think Max, you know, is obviously thinking herself. But then again, it's like, you see all the alternate timelines. You see how many times Chloe died regardless. It was almost like... You know, you're so focused on making one perfect timeline of keeping Chloe alive that you're ruining and making so many other things worse that you might not realize right away. Maybe in the long run, maybe in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, something horrible will happen. Like, you just, it, it's, like, I feel like actually there's no right choice. Like, I, I don't think either was, like, an easy one to make. Like, I don't know. I don't like that I'm in the minority. That makes me doubt myself a little bit, but... Honestly, like, I would love to go back and do the other one. But I think I would probably still cry and see a bunch of people die and I'd still be like, Oh my god, I regret this, or... I would say, I think I'd probably have the same reaction. Who knows? But we will not know because... We're gonna stick with it. This, <laughs> this is our timeline. This is our reality. This is a choice I made and this is what we shall stick with. So let's see what our choices are here. David got a scar during the fight. We're super majority there. David killed Jefferson. That one's a very even split. But then again, it's like, have these choices like don't really matter because we changed them at the end anyway. We saved the trucker. Yes. We did not save Evan. My bad. Saved Alyssa for once. Saved their fisherman. Thank goodness. You helped Joyce believe in David again. Oh. Oh, we are minority there. 
I don't know why are I already there. David was like, yeah, like he had his. He, he's not this guy. War changes you, obviously. Never know unless you go, so we can't really judge the guy. He was a little paranoid. He knew something was wrong. He had a hunch, and he wanted to keep everyone safe. And that's sure he couldn't. He can't save everyone. Kind of like me. I couldn't save everyone. I couldn't save Chloe. Couldn't save the. Evan. Couldn't save Evan, but... David, I think, yeah, he was solid. So, I'm happy about that one. Told the truth about Rachel and Frank. Kissed Warren, obviously. That was a couple destined to be. And that's it. It just brings her back to the main menu. Not, not even a... We're sorry you had to make this choice. Um, here's some... Reimbursement for the therapy you're gonna need? Like, anything? Well, uh, <laughs> thank you. My- Oh my god. I- I don't know if the rest of my day is ruined because of that choice. But you know what, like, I- I, I would just stick by- stick by my choice. We- Probably made a, a, a great rally. We're gonna heal. Everyone's gonna heal. We're gonna a lot less loss, but I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't know. But you know, I think that's what the game did a good job of. I don't know if what I did was right. I don't know if all my choices were right. But you know what? It's just you gotta go with the moment. What's meant to be will be, and you can try and change whatever you want. But I mean, it's. God, it has its consequences, so that is that, guys. That is Life is Strange. I thoroughly enjoyed this series. It took me an incredibly long time to complete. It was, it was honestly a pretty... It was a pretty hard series to play through. Not, like, difficulty-wise, but, like, emotionally. As you, particularly this episode. But you know what? With... With every end, there comes a new beginning, and I know that there are a lot. There are a lot of Life is Strange uh, the DLCs, add-ons, remasters, others, prequel, sequel, whatever. I've been seeing them all over my Steam library. I know I'm playing this on the PlayStation, but as I've kind of mentioned before, I'm going to be making the switch over to PC gaming because it's absolutely superior. Don't... <laughs> Don't fight me on that one. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay, consoles got their got their perks. I mean, I do love curling up on the couch, playing on a big screen with my little controller. I do love controllers. It's definitely more natural to me than a keyboard and mouse, but I have been I've been finding the benefits of PC gaming. And and genuinely, I think you guys would probably appreciate it a lot more. Like everything just runs smoother, it's a lot better. I think like optimal experiences would definitely be if I were to go forward with PC games. Obviously, you know, I got a lot of console games I'd like to play through, but since I, this is the only Life is Strange that I own, although PlayStation doubts me because they keep threatening to suspend this application because they think I don't own it, PC on the Steam library, I've been seeing tons of, like, I, I think True Colors was even one that I, I've been seeing a lot, but th there's got to be multiple ones. I don't really know the order of them. I can, I will look that up myself, but... I am, I am so ready to, like, I'm so ready to start another one. Maybe not right away. Maybe I need a little bit of a, little bit of a break. Maybe, maybe I need to play something a little happier. I feel like all I do are play emotionally draining and crushing games. Or horror games. <laughs> like, that's all I play. That's literally all I play. Or Dark Souls, which is not much better. I gotta play, like, something happy. I gotta play, like, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Or something before I get back into another heavy series like this because this was so so good I know they're gonna make me feel the same way again if I play another one which I do plan to maybe not right away but I do have to look into what, like the order of the games are maybe what the best if you guys actually have a suggestion for maybe which order would be the best I would love to hear it um, but yeah this was a fantastic series like they got me. They seriously got me. I 
never actually knew what was going on and it was just a plot twist around every corner and it was just right from the very beginning episode one like five minutes in you get this lecture from a teacher that everybody is in love with he's so smart and in you know just so experienced and down to earth whatever turns out to be an absolute psychopath that plans to kidnap drug you and photograph you like if anything i would have expected that from like samuel but no they literally made me doubt the fact that the squirrel lover just genuinely was the squirrel lover he loved nature and life he was like actually the equivalent of snow white samuel white but they that they got me and you know what too they also got me with nathan i still i still think of nathan in a very negative light but after hearing that voicemail on that drive i like i got chills i got chills i think at least three times in this episode and i i don't get that very often and like I'm just gonna say, like, too, like, the fact that, like, they, they, like, I literally got brought to tears in the ending. That doesn't happen very often for me. I try not to cry. Like, I've come close many times because, you know, I don't wear makeup. I'm not trying to turn into a raccoon chick for you, but. I mean, they, they got me with this one. And that says a lot. That says a lot. You know, I'm really, really curious. If you guys have played this, to know what decision you made. I mean, I can I can tell you. Next time I play this, like I'm 100% gonna be doing the complete opposite. Like, I'm definitely gonna go back and save Alyssa and save all the peoples. But I would be really curious to see like what that what that final choice in the end does, because I feel like every every choice didn't really matter all it did was kind of influence my decision at the end and i don't really know how much it mattered because i feel like it's just one or two endings i mean i don't know the truth i won't know unless if i played again but just did the best i could with what i had but this was a fantastic series i mean i know it's a little bit old especially compared to uh compared to some of the other games i've been playing actually i guess i play a lot of old games but this one, like, kind of felt aged in terms of graphics, movement. It was kind of janky. There were terrifyingly large squirrels, a lot of glitches. I don't know what was actually supposed to be in there or not, but I, I, that's probably just its age showing. And I think that's why PC would be fantastic if I played the other ones going forward. But I, I'm kind of rambling here. This was an unreal series. I'm really glad I played it. At first, I kind of thought it was going to be a little boring. But I'm really, really glad that I gave it a chance. And there's a lot of games that I never thought I would enjoy. But I, but I just, that's that's what I love about this channel. I mean, I play my, my games that I like to play my own time. You know, I play my Animal Crossing and that. But, <laughs> like... This channel kind of challenges me to pick up games that I normally would not just play for fun. And the accountability of being able to upload is really, really a great thing for me because I probably, like, yeah, sure, episode one's great, but who knows? If I, if, you know, I probably would have had no accountability if otherwise if I wasn't playing this with you guys and maybe I would have given it up and never actually finished it. And I think that would probably go for a lot of games that I have completed on the channel so far. So I guess what I'm saying is like, I'm really, really grateful that I have you guys here really motivating me to step out of my comfort zone when it comes to games. And I'm really, really glad, particularly this one. This one, this one was hard to play through, like mentally, emotionally, the whole thing. But I'm really, really glad I did. I really do apologize it took so long. I really wish it didn't take so long, but I've had a lot of ups and downs in the past year. And I'm sure like you can, you know, you guys probably know through some of the comments I've like, we've, we've chatted and all that. Just a lot been going on, but you know, and then to top it all up, my chair broke and then my microphone's doing what knows. It's still on for the record. So <laughs> that's a win. Um, who knows what'll go wrong next, but I'm just, you know what we're gonna do what we've got so right now 
things are good, everything is working. I am really, really excited to play a new game. I don't actually even know what I want to play next. I don't know if I'm gonna buy another Life is Strange game. I don't know what I want to do now, but I guess, I guess now I get to just kind of think about that over the next few days. If you guys have any suggestions, please, 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 please leave them in the comments because I want you guys to pick something that we will enjoy together. I don't want to play something that I just want to play for the sake of it. I want to play something that we'll enjoy together. Something fun. Something... Something challenging. You know what? Just anything. I am so ready for a cozy game, another horror game, another action game. Okay, once again, I'm absolutely rambling here. My intros, my outros, why, why talk way too much? Way too much. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I did. I know it took a while and if you're still here, if you're watching now, I appreciate you so, so, so much. You have no idea how much it means to me that you're watching this video right now and you're you're still here, you're, you're still hanging on despite all of my, all my bullshit that I throw in between and all my, my little episodes and that, but I'm really, really thankful to have all of you here kind of motivating me and keeping this going and you know, even though I may have uploaded less now than I did previously and I hope to change that because the chair is here. As long as this microphone doesn't give out, we should we should be okay in the meantime, but I'm gonna start getting on the hunt for a new one. Just in case. But now I gotta quickly find a new game so we don't go off schedule here and I don't wanna make you wait too long for a new series, so I will probably do a poll. If not, I'll probably pick a game that you guys suggested. I I don't know yet, but it's a surprise for me, it's a surprise for you. We'll just have to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I did. This episode was an absolute heartbreaker, plot twister, made me question everything in life. But you know what, that is what a good game does. So I want to thank you all again so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I really hope to see you all in my next video, in my next series whatever that may be. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is. Maybe you're on night shift, maybe you're on day shift, maybe you're at home, whatever you're doing. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.